So alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox and test out the brand new M12 hatchet 6 inch chainsaw. Alright, now as soon as I saw this thing, I had to have it. This thing was actually pretty big for what it is. It's a 12 volt tool. And so, so yeah, I'm, a, I'm seriously excited that I got this now. I got this from ohiopowertools.com. We're going to unbox this, go through the specs really quick, and we're going to give this a test run. Straight out of the box, it says... Uh, Unmatched control to access because of the size. Power to cut three inch hardwoods and up to 120 cuts per charge. Now I do not know what the, what they cut while they get 120 cuts. But let's unbox this really quick and uh, see what this is like. Let's see what comes in the box. Of course you get instructions. And of course the, the cards and instructions. Then after that, take the spacing out. Look at that. This thing is awesome. It does come with a blade guard. After that, the box is empty. Look at that. Look at that. This thing is seriously wicked. This thing is seriously wicked. Of course, this is where you put your oil for your chain. Remember, you put chain oil in that. And so do I, uh, we are gonna test out, to, I'm gonna fill this and we're gonna do this tomorrow. I'm gonna fill this up, I wanna see if this leaks. I wanna see if that leaks. So let's actually put oil in that right now. Let's put some in. There we go. That is full, fantastic. And I do have a uh, M12 400 hour battery right here. Let's actually blow this off a little bit. Alrighty, so before we do that, this is, let's go over the specs really quick. Where are the specs? All right, so this is model number 257 Sorry, it's 2527-20, 12 volt system. Uh, it goes to 0 to 2650 RPM. Alright, this is actually beefy. This feels, that feels like there's a lot of metal in here. Yeah, that's awesome. Look at that. Let's put the battery in. There is a it lock. There also is a battery fuel gauge on there. I have a two bars on the gauge. That's actually extremely awesome. So yeah, there you go. Let's go outside and test this out and see what this can do. We're gonna do that tomorrow morning, but I wanna test out to see if this chain leaks. That's a big one. If this oil leaks, that's going to be extremely disappointing. But we will find out. We will find out. I'm going to let this sit overnight, and we will be back. So, already, it is the next morning. Uh, there is zero leaks in here, which is a huge deal to me because every other chainsaw that I owned, it always leaked. And so, but this one does not. There's zero leakage of the chain oil. All right, so just to show you guys, the, the cutting area is six inches. The entire chain length, though, is all right there, approximately uh, 10 inches. Nine, nine and three quarters, just about. Well, yeah, this little guy is awesome. Sounds pretty beefy for a 12 volt. All right, now the one thing I am gonna warn you guys because we're used to having it covered is make sure you do not put your hand on it like this because on this model, the chain is completely exposed where your hand goes. So yeah, do not put your hand on it like that. So because you could get it in there, then there goes your finger. So only hold it like this or just one-handed. 
but this thing is awesome. Now we are going to do a couple of tests, so let's get to it. And for the final test, what we are going to do is we are going to cut up this uh, 12 inch log and see if the M12 could actually cut through the entire thing. Now I will be rotating this when I need to, but yeah, that's the final test. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Mine right here. Alrighty, so we we'll, for this little part, we are actually gonna do a little versus video against the M12 hacksaw. We're gonna give the hacksaw home field advantage with a four amp hour battery, and we're gonna give the chainsaw a three amp hour battery. All right, we're gonna see on the differences between the chainsaw and hacksaw when it comes to pruning. All right, so we are gonna test this out on this uh, four by six, and we're gonna see on how these do together. All right, so like uh, the battery is full. We're gonna just do a couple of cuts and see what the difference is between these two. All right, so ready, go. <laughs> All right, that's taking way too long. I already know that this is probably gonna destroy that, all right? So we're gonna use the chainsaw and see how well this does. All right, so ready, go. Done. Wow, it didn't stop either, it did not stop. Let's do another one. Ready, go. Up, oh, it stopped. 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 We already know that this is garbage compared to the chainsaw. So let's put the four amp hour battery in the chainsaw to see what happens. That's right, so ready, go. Wow. Much better, but I'm not convinced yet. I'm not convinced yet. Let's do one more cut. All right, so ready, go. Wow. Oh, it stopped. Time. All right, so we're gonna move on. We're just gonna do the final test. All right, let's see on how well this actually cuts this. All right, so ready. Go. It's already doing a fantastic job. Nope, oh, it stopped. As expected, it's a 12 volt. All right, let's go to the other side. Sorry, I let go of the trigger. All right, got to rotate the, got to rotate the, uh, 
the log. Let's rotate this again. It's, I mean, like, it's doing it. It's doing it easily. It's stopping, but the motor is, I, I can tell, the motor is not overworking at all. It's just, it's just stopping. Let's finish this up. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, just the, the very middle. Just the very middle isn't what was cut. As you can see right there, just a little thing in the middle. But yeah, it did it, it cut it. It freaking cut it, look at that. Oh, let's do a quick temperature reading. 108, 109, 105. Where's the 100? Oh, I saw 112. All right, there's 112 somewhere, but 108 is most of the area. All right, so my point is if this thing can cut it, a 12 volt tool, it can do exactly what you want it to do. Like this thing is amazing. This thing absolutely is amazing. It's amazing little tool. Like this will do most of what you want to do when it comes to pruning. If it can cut this, and this is 12 inches. I, obviously if it, if it's there on that end, then here on this end, it's, it's 12 inches because this is a six inch blade. This thing's amazing. All right, so I, like I said, I got this from ohiopowertool.com and they had it, actually had it in stock before Home Depot did. And this thing rocks, this thing is awesome. Now I could, I could take you out in the backyard and actually uh, prune some uh, branches, but we already know this can do that. I wanted to put this to the extreme when it comes to cutting uh, uh, like a four by six or a log. That's, that, that blew my mind, uh, cutting that log, is, it's absolutely insane. Yeah, uh, that, that blew my mind. Now, now, just remember this is a 12 volt tool. So it did exceptionally well for what it is. It's extremely portable. The oil does not leak, which is a huge deal to me. And so yeah, th this thing rocks. This thing is seriously awesome. This, this thing will do a lot of damage to whatever it is you're doing. And uh, it's totally worth it to me. Now remember what I said, watch your fingers if you ever accidentally hold it like this, that your fingers don't slip inside. So I do not recommend you putting your hand on it like this at all. Only hold it like this or with one hand. You don't want to risk destroying, like cutting your fingers off in there. So now I just got the tool only one because I already have a bunch of uh, M12 batteries and chargers. And so, yeah, I'm thinking this is 180, 180 dollars I paid. It was not bad, not bad at all. Now uh, this is my main pruning tool. You know, like I was using uh, hacksaws, you know, Hilti in Milwaukee, but this, this mini chainsaw rocks for the end. It's small. You know, Makita does make a six inch, I think, or a nine inch chainsaw, but it's bigger. It's a, it's an 18 volt version. And so it has, I'm pretty sure it has a little bit more power since it's 18 volt, but this is the, this, this size is, is awesome. 
So that's pretty much it. So please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. Please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.